Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 4th, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA Thoughts for the Day. Peace of Mind. AA has taught me that I will have peace of mind in exact proportion to the peace of mind I bring into the lives of other people. And it has taught me the true meaning of the admonition, happy are ye who know these things and do them. For the only problems I have now are those I create when I break out in a rash of self-will. Alcoholics Anonymous Page 551. Thought to consider. I never imagined that the greatest achievement of my life would be peace of mind. Acronyms. Peace. Principles experienced activate change every day. Just for today. Turning point. Step 7. Humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. We saw we needn't always be bludgeoned and beaten into humility. It could come quite as much from our voluntary reaching for it as it could from unremitting suffering. A great turning point in our lives came when we sought for humility as something we really wanted, rather than as something we must have. It marked the time when we could commence to see the full implication of Step 7, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 75. Daily Reflections. A Daily Discipline. When they, self-examination, meditation, and prayer, are logically related and interwoven, the result is an unshakable foundation for life. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 98. The last three steps of the program invoke God's loving discipline upon my willful nature. If I devote just a few moments every night to a review of the highlights of my day, along with an acknowledgement of those aspects that didn't please me so much, I gain a personal history of myself, one that is essential to my journey into self-discovery. I was able to note my growth or lack of it and to ask in prayerful meditation to be relieved of those continuing shortcomings that cause me pain. Meditation and prayer also teach me the art of focusing and listening. I find that the turmoil of the day gets turned out as I pray for his will and guidance. The practice of asking him to help me in my strivings for perfection puts a new slant on the tedium of any day because I know there is honor in any job done well. The daily discipline of prayer and meditation will keep me in fit spiritual condition, able to face whatever the day brings without the thought of a drink. As Bill sees it, a way out of depression. During acute depression, avoid trying to set your whole life in order all at once. If you take on assignments so heavy that you are sure to fail in them at the moment, then you are allowing yourself to be tricked by your unconscious. Thus, you will continue to make sure of your failure. And when it comes, you will have another alibi for still more retreat into depression. In short, the all-or-nothing attitude is a most destructive one. It's best to begin with whatever the irreducible minimums of activity are. Then, work for an enlargement of these day by day. Don't be disconcerted by setbacks. Just start over. Letter 1960 Big Book Quote The less people tolerated us, the more we withdrew from society, from life itself. As we became subjects of King Alcohol, shivering denizens of his mad realm, the chilling vapor that is loneliness settled down, it thickened, ever becoming blacker. Some of us sought out sordid places, hoping to find understanding 
companionship and approval. Momentarily we did. Then would come oblivion and the awful awakening to face the hideous four horsemen, terror, bewilderment, frustration, and despair. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. A vision for you, page 151. 24 hours a day. A A thought for the day. I can do things that I never did before. Liquor took away my initiative and my ambition. I couldn't get up the steam to start anything. I let things slide. When I was drunk, I was too inert to even comb my hair. Now I can sit down and do something. I can write letters that need to be written. I can make telephone calls that should be made. I can work in my garden. I can pursue my hobbies. I have the urge to create something. That creative urge that was completely stifled by alcohol. I am free to achieve again. Have I recovered my initiative? Meditation for the day. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forever. We cannot find true happiness by looking for it. Seeking pleasure does not bring happiness in the long run, only disillusionment. Do not seek to have this fullness of joy by seeking pleasure. It cannot be done that way. Happiness is a byproduct of living the right kind of life. True happiness comes as a result of living in all respects the way you believe God wants you to live. With regard to yourself, into other people. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not always seek pleasure as a goal. I pray that I may be content with the happiness that comes along when I do the right thing. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.